The Jackson Ironmen have started slow in both of their games this year, and last week they took a step back in a loss to Chillicothe. But tonight, Jackson hopes to turn that around in their home opener against West, West Jefferson. So let's bring in Justin Holbrock, who was there for the action tonight. Danny, both of these teams played each other for the first time three years ago, and to be honest, none of their games have been close. Jackson has won the last two, and they were determined tonight to make it a third. And the cheerleaders were determined right from the start to get this crowd fired up. It was Jackson's first home game of the season, and you know they are ready to improve their record to 2-1. and one. We get the action started. We get the action started. Jackson was doing very well. There you go. There you see the cheerleaders right there. They're ready to get this team going. The Ironmen started out rough last week, lost 24 to 21. And Cameron Williams fumbles on this possession, direct snap. West Jefferson falls on top of it. But Johnny Farley helps him forget about it. And he takes the jet sweep to the left, picks up a few blocks, and gets to the 21 yard line. And he's not done. Farley gets his number called again with a sweep to the right this time and gets to the five yard line. His quarterback, Bryce Hall, finishes off the drive and he breezes into the end zone to give Jackson a 7-0 lead with just over five minutes left in the first quarter. And Jackson's defense was getting it done as well. Two three and outs for West Jefferson to start the game and here's Thomas Farley getting the throw down sack, the other Farley. And they come back out, Bryce Hall drops back in the pocket. He finds his man, Johnny Farley, in the open field. He makes a man miss. He gets a great block from Blake McCoy, shrugs off the tackle, stays on his feet, and slides safe into the end zone, putting Jackson up 14-0. And the defense came through once again as McCoy follows up that block with this diving interception. He'd have even more to celebrate as three plays later, he snagged a pass from Hall for a 42-yard touchdown, making it 21-0 Jackson. Jackson added another touchdown on defense before getting this 24-yard strike from Hall to number 22, Dylan Coffey, putting the Ironman up 35-0 before the end of the first half. And it was more of the same in the second as they cruised to a 49-9 win. Man, it looked like Bryce Hall was really clicking with his receivers. What did you see from him in the passing game tonight? Well, Danny, I tell you what, Bryce Hall looked unstoppable in Jackson's first home game this year. For the third week in a row, Jackson got off to a slow start, leading just 7-0 at the end of the first quarter. And I don't know what his dad and coach Andy Hall said to him before the second quarter, but it definitely worked. Hall exploded for three touchdowns in that second quarter and really took control of the game. Jackson is known for its punishing running attack, but Hall has a whole new dimension with this passing game, making Jackson a huge threat on offense. But that's not the only threat that Jackson poses for other teams. The defense didn't allow a single touchdown, with the Rough Riders points coming from a safety and a fumble return for a touchdown. And when it was all said and done, the Ironman defense gave up just 49 yards rushing while also picking up a touchdown in the second quarter. Justin, looking at the stats tonight, Jackson, they just dominated in every category. What do you think stood out the most for the Ironmen? Well, Danny, the numbers you see from Bryce Hall all came from the first half, which is impressive because he didn't throw a single pass in the second half. Plus, Blake McCoy added three touchdowns of his own, including a 